let's see uh, the different laws of exponents first thing which is important is before going through the laws is that all these will be applicable for the real values of a and b such that a is not equal to 0 and b is not equal to 0 and m and n will be any rational numbers so let's look at the laws of exponents now the first one states that a raised to the power 0 is equal to 1 now this is applicable for any value of any real value of a such that a is not equal to 0 so we can take an example we can say say for example we have 5 raised to the power 0 now this by definition of the exponential notation is 1 multiplied by 5 0 number of times so that means 1 multiplied with nothing so that was equal to 1 so we can say that a and if we replace this 5 with any other real number other than 0 it will be the same result the second law states that a raised to the power m multiplied by a raised to the power n is equal to a raised to the power m plus n now we can see this by taking a an example we will not take a value here we will just multiply this notation now a raised to the power m actually means that we multiply a with a of course we could say 1 multiplied by a m number of times so we have m number of times we multiply a now similarly we are saying we multiply this with a raised to power n which would mean multiply this with 1 into a into a now this will go on till n times so that means we are multiplying a with 1 m plus n times so we can say that a multiplied a raised to power m multiplied by a raised to power n is equal to a raised to power m plus n now let's look at the next law of exponent which, sta which states that a raised to power m whole raised to power n is equal to a raised to the power m into n. So how do we, how can we show that? Now this means that we are multiplying a raised to the power m with 1 n times. So we are saying 1 into a raised to power m into a raised to power m into a raised to power m and this is happening n times right so this would essentially mean that this is a raised to power m plus a raised to power n m plus a raised to power m which is n times this you could say it is equal to 1 into a raised to power m plus m till no, n times so that means this is equal to a raised to power m n Now what we used here when we say it is equal to a raised to power m plus m plus m. So this is what we used is the second law of exponent. So now using that we reached at the third law which states that it is a raised to power m n. Now the fourth law which says that a b whole raised to the power m is equal to a raised to power m multiplied by b raised to power m now we can again see it with the in a similar way we could say a b raised to power m is equal to 1 into a b into a b and this we continue till m times now we could say that 1 into a b is nothing but 1 into a into b and so every a b becomes a into b and so on 
Now doing this, it could also be written as a into a, 1 into a multiplied by itself m number of times. Similarly multiplied by b multiplied with itself m number of times, which means a raised to power m into b raised to power m. So that is where we reach the fourth law. And again, in all of these laws, the condition that remains the same is that a and b are real have real values such that they are not zero and m and n are any rational numbers. Now let's look at some more laws of exponents. Again, the condition that a and b have to be real and both of them are not equal to zero and m and n can be any rational numbers remains the uh, same for the remaining laws of exponent as well. So the next law says that a by m raised to power m whole raised to power m is equal to a raised to power m divided by b raised to power m. So let's see how we reach at this conclusion. So if we have a by b raised to power m we are saying a by b is multiplied with a by b m number of times. Now this would be equal to a raised to the power m because in the numerator a is multiplying with itself m number of times divided by b raised to power m because b is getting multiplied with itself m number of times in the denominator. So we reach the this law of exponent that a by b raised to power m is equal to a raised to power m divided by b raised to power m. Let's look at the next law which says a raised to power m divided by a raised to power n is equal to a raised to power m minus n. So here we are saying that in the numerator we have a multiplied by a m number of times and in the denominator we have a multiplied by a n number of times. Now let's first take an example where m is greater than n. So we are saying all the denom a in the denominator would get cancelled with that many a's in the numerator. So what we'll be left with is a raised to power m minus n in the denominator, in the numerator. Now let's take the other example where n is greater than m. Now if n is greater than m, we are saying all the a in the numerator would get, would, would get cancelled with that many new, uh, a's in the denominator. So we'll be left with some a in the denominator. So which would mean that it'll, the final result would become a raised to power a negative exponent which will be equal to m minus n here because n is greater than m. The next law states that a raised to power minus m is equal to 1 by a raised to power m. Now this is we can simply say that a raised to power minus m means that we are dividing 1 with a m number of times. So that gives us a raised to power minus m is equal to a raised to 1 by a raised to power m. Now the next law states that a by b raised to power minus m is equal to b by a raised to power M. So this is same as the seventh law just that the base is now a fraction, a rational number instead of an integer. So if we have a rational number, we are saying that it becomes a, raised to, a by b raised to power minus m becomes 1 divided by a by b getting multiplied with itself m number of times and this becomes equal to b by a raised to power m.
let's take some special cases for exponents and powers now the first one says that 0 raised to any non zero power is always equal to 0 so normally any number raised to any non zero power is equal to 1 multiplied by the number exponent number of times now since the number itself is 0 we multiply 1 with 0 that many times so it results in a 0 the second exception is 0 raised to the power 0 these are the two special cases that we talk about 0 raised to the power 0 is not defined this is not defined as equal to 1 this is undefined so we are saying 0 raised to the power 0 is undefined let's now look at the usage of the laws of exponents the laws of exponents are used in mathematical calculations and simplifications so we'll see that with the help of an example say for example we have this expression 3 into 3 raised to power minus 5 into 10 raised to power minus 5 into 125 divided by 5 raised to power minus 7 into 6 raised to power minus 5 now we need to evaluate the value of this so what we do here is we first uh, we first take all the numbers and divide and write them as a product of their prime factors so here if we see 3 is already a prime factor so we don't do anything with it 10 here is further divided into 2 into 5 and whole raised to the power minus 5 similarly 125 is written as 5 raised to power 3 and if we see in the denominator 6 raised to power minus 5 is written as 2 into 3 raised to power minus 5 so now this is the final expression that we get if we remove the denominator and bring everything in the numerator by using the law of uh, exponent we get 3 raised to power minus 5 into 2 raised to power minus 5 into 5 raised to power minus 5 into 5 raised to power 3 all of these are already there in the numerator now we take the 5 raised to power minus 7 from the denominator to 5 raised to power 7 in the numerator similarly 2 raised to power minus 5 in the denominator becomes 2 raised to power 5 in the numerator and 3 raised to power minus 5 in the denominator becomes 3 raised to power 5 in the numerator so now again using a different law of exponent we take the same base and bring the powers together so if we see 3 raised to power minus 5 and 3 raised to power 5 we write as 3 raised to power minus 5 plus 5 similarly for 2 raised to power minus 5 and 2 raised to power 5 we write as 2 raised to the power minus 5 plus 5 and then we have 5 raised to power minus 5 5 raised to power 3 5 raised to power 7 and 5 raised to that's it so we get as 5 raised to power minus 5 plus 3 plus 7 simplifying it becomes 3 raised to power 0 into 2 raised to power 0 into 5 raised to power 5 which is 3 1 2 5 is the fi final answer friends i hope you enjoyed the session if you find it useful please like it and share it with your friends you can visit us at our cool smart learning website and post your queries there and please subscribe to the cool smart learning channel for getting updates on the new sessions thank you